everyone, Karen Glasser here and welcome to Once Upon a Storytime. I'm so glad you're here. We'd love to hear from you. So whether you are here live or on replay, comment below and say hi. We have a great story for you today, so we're going to jump right in and have some fun. Today we are welcoming children's author Hal Price. He's going to be reading from his international bestseller, The Bear Essentials. After serving as a career marketing and branding executive for the Coca-Cola company and managing his own sports marketing agency for professional athletes, including four-time NASCAR champion Jeff Gordon, who I happen to love, Hal retired earlier early to begin his passion for writing and telling children's bedtime stories. Since 2018, Hal has written two international best-selling children's books under his Eli Bear series, titles and Hal's latest book, The Bear Essentials, promotes deeper heartfelt conversations between children and their parents. The Bear Essentials has helped kids across the country and around the world to learn key virtues and lessons of the heart. Additionally, Hal's philanthropic efforts reach far and wide, especially through his charitable endeavors with the Teddy Bear Cancer Foundation, which help families in need navigate through pediatric cancer. He is the father of three purpose-driven children and three amazing imaginative grandchildren. And before I bring Hal in, I have a special video that I'd like to share with you that Hal created uh, with Eli Bear. So let's give it a listen. Uh, let me bring him in, hold on. Well, hey, Bear, guys. Me, Eli Benjamin Bear. It's been a long time since we've connected, but there's been so much going on in the world. But I was talking to Hal, and he said, you know, Eli, it's time for some more story times. And we, we wanted to bring you a very, very special event today that we're going to be doing with our dear friend, Miss Karen Glasser. And she has... A great little show called Once Upon a Story, story Time, time? Live. live. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be live, live today, today talking, talking to you about, about the bear, bear essentials of life. life. And we're, we're going to be on her show, show and you can check out on our Facebook page here in just a few minutes. But we're, we're so, so excited, excited and tickled to be with Karen. And, and please, please join, join into our show. show. It's going to be at 10 30. Pacific, Pacific time, time, that's for people, people on the West Coast, coast. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be, be, I think it's 1.30 uh, p.m. on the East Coast, coast for Eastern time. time. I don't, I don't know, know why I had to ask people what time they show up where they're supposed to be, and that's what they do anyway. Pay attention, here I am, watch our links, and tune in live, and you can listen to Hal Reed, our international best-selling story called The Bear Essentials. Story in my, my bed. bed. Have, a, Have great a great day. day. And be sure, be sure to tune in and share, share with your friends. friends. Thanks, Thanks Karen, Karen, for all, all you do for all, all the kids and families out there. there. We appreciate, we appreciate you. you. Have a great, Have a great day, day, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say right now. He is the absolute cutest. And I will be honest, I literally emailed you after I saw that video and I said, please, 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 Hal, can you send it to me? Because he's going to be a perfect addition for the show. He is, he's adorable and you're his dad. I know. I, I want to just point something out. You talk about the uh, teddy bear cancer um, foundation and you were telling me right before the show that you and the whole, the gang that's involved in this, how much money did you raise? Our goal was $275,000. We're about $25,000 short of our monthly goal for the month of September. Wow. We sell raises money for, where are they? The Teddy Bear Cancer Foundation and our bears go to contribute that. But we had a lot of people working to really make this thing come together. It was phenomenal. It, it, truly, it is phenomenal. And I, I wanna thank you for all you do um, to support uh, cancer community out there. You and I have had a conversation about that as well. You know, uh, we're going to get ready to have you jump in and do your story. So, guys, you know the drill out there. Snuggle up with whoever you came with, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa. Maybe it's your pet fish, or maybe you have a pet bear. Maybe you have your own Eli the bear. Oh, we both have them. <laughs> whoever they are, snuggle up, because it's time for story time. How are you ready? Never more ready than I am right now, Karen. Then take it away. 
first of all, thanks for joining me, folks. Um, everybody has an inspired person that brings them who they're meant to be in life and uh, ideas and helps them find their spot in life. She was my amazing mother. This is mom and me, and this is my Eli Bear from 1958. And every night my mom would snuggle up and ask me one question. What was the best part of your day? And I would tell her what my best part of my day was. And she would proceed to make up a crazy rhyming story about my day every single night. And then we would, after that, she would read me a little a golden book. And I knew that life was good. And I, I brought that forward with me just about the importance of bedtime stories and being safe and sound right now and just knowing how much you're loved. And it also taught me about poetry. And um, But as importantly, what I've learned over the last couple of years is bedtime stories are dying slowly. With the advent of handheld devices and parents both working and all the craziness going on, kids aren't getting their stories anymore. And we need to keep our stories alive, folks. So I invite you to find a great book every night and read it up for yourself. But also, I wrote this story of parents for you also. It's for the child and all of us. So... We always want to keep that going. So let's, I got to get my storytelling hat. Karen, am I ready to put my hat on? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Here we go. Here we go. Got to have a good story time telling hat. So this is called The Bear Essentials. It's a story about a little bear who gets angry with his dad and they need to talk about it. And um, let's start like this. Let me also say that I was blessed to move to this little area in Cal Carpinteria, California, just south of Santa Barbara. And everybody that worked on my book lived within two miles of where I moved uh, back in 2018, especially my amazing illustrator who used to work for Walt Disney, Michael Bayard. So I give a lot of uh, privilege and honor to Michael for helping me bring where we are. So here we are. The Bear Essentials. All right, here, we, here we are. So Eli's in bed ready for his little story, okay? There's a story every father bear shares with his sweet young cub. They tell them at the perfect time when their cub needs special love. Eli Benjamin Bear was very sad. His dad, oops, was leaving town. See him packing? His dad was leaving town. Eli begged his father not to leave. He wanted him around. Eli asked, did mother tell you? I won the spelling bee. Tomorrow at assembly, they'll give my award to me. Eli's father said, my dear sweet boy, I'm very proud of you. You are kind and smart and loving and there's nothing you can't do. Eli's father then looked down and said, son, I have to leave tonight. I can sit here while you fall asleep, then turn out your bedroom light. Eli Benjamin Bear began to pout. He pitched a little fit. He turned his back on Daddy Bear saying, if I had your job, I'd quit. Eli's father cried a little tear that Eli did not see. I'm sorry that you feel this way. Your sadness saddens me. Eli's father stroked his young son's head saying, son, I have to leave tonight. He stroked his angry little head and said, wait, I'll be right back. Here he comes back. He's coming right back. He's, What's he got? What's he got? Oh, he said, I have a gift for you that Papa gave to me. Like you, I was an angry bear so mad I could not see. Papa said he wrote this letter for the times we feel apart. So remember, we are always loved and connected by our heart. See, Eli, he got his letter now that his grandfather wrote to his dad when he was a little boy. He's very excited to see what this letter has to say. This letter is so special. I've kept it locked indoors. By the time you wake tomorrow, this letter will be yours. Eli snuggled tightly with his dad. He'd never felt so close. He heard his dad's heart beating strong. That's the sound he loved the most. Don't you love to snuggle and hear your parents breathing and their heart beating when they're reading to you? Look how excited his dad is now. Oh, he's jumping up and down on the bed. And Eli's just watching. But my dad's going crazy. What is it? Papa called it bare essentials, ways to live life from your heart. He looked at Eli lovingly and said, relax, son. Now let's start. Here's the bare essentials. These are the really important words. So 
Remember some of these, okay? Be who you are and know yourself. Pretenders are not real. Say what you mean and don't hold back. Express the way you feel. See, I'm telling me these are the key points. Remember these points. These are lessons on life, how to be a good bear or a good person. When you know yourself, you can't be lost and your life will take you far. The key is being true to you are. Respect all life. It's here for you and trust your heart to guide. No love surrounds you every day. It never leaves your side. See, Eli's imagining that he's outside in nature now. And here he is under a tree as he listens to this poem. Be still and quiet. You're not alone. And in your stillness hear the whispers of a wise, sweet voice that cares for you, my dear. Please laugh and sing out every day. Your joy expressed in sound can fill the hearts of those you love. They're blessed when you're around. See him with all these friends. He's imagined being with all of his friends. Tell him how much he cares about his friends and how lucky he is to have great friends. Here's one of my great photos that uh, Michael did. It's Eli staring at the night stars. Remember, every word and thought creates the world you'll see. And say, I love you every day. And say it joyfully. Remember, you are a special child and have a precious gift. And when you bring your life, your gift to serve, the hearts you touch will lift. There's no one else like you, my child. You are stardust made from love. Appreciate the life you have and thank your stars above. I promise you can change the world. Allow your feelings to be felt and trust the wisdom of your heart to let you be yourself. One final message for you now, its power will ring true. I believe in you with all my heart. Now you believe in you. Eli's dad leaned down to kiss his head, saying, I love you and your heart. You are my greatest gift of joy. I have felt it from the start. Eli Bear then asked his father, Will you love me while you're gone? His father smiled and kissed his head, saying, I will love you all life long. Father Bear took Eli's blanket snug and turned out the night light on, turned the night light on. He watched his bear cub fall asleep. And the next day, he was gone. Their two hearts were connected now. Eli kept dad inside his heart. Eli felt his father's love for him. Now, they'd never be apart. Eli woke up feeling special. His heart felt special too. He heard his heart say quietly, Eli Bear, I sure love you. Eli's heart beat softly as it said, there are things I'd like to share about how special you are now. You are not your average bear. He imagines he's a three ring circus leader. Anything's possible with your heart. It is true, your heart can speak to you. It can help you find your way. There are secret ways to listen. You can trust what it will say. It can teach you how to listen. It can teach you how to hear. It can teach you why you're special. It is always very clear. Eli Bear got so excited. He had a new best friend. He could ask his heart for guidance. He could ask things without end. Eli thought about so many things. Where would his questions start? He sat quietly on his bedside and he placed his hand upon his heart. What would you ask your heart if you knew it would answer you? We've got a pro opportunity for you. His first questions all were doozies, ones he knew his heart would know. He quizzed his young heart endlessly, each to guide and help him grow. Now, he knew his father loved him, even when they were apart. Just, and he felt his love surround him because he knew it in his heart. Now that Eli has learned to listen to his heart, can you listen to yours? We have a special site that we'll be showing you in a few minutes where you can go and find out. If you go to Eli Bear Stories, 
forward, uh, com forward slash my heart questions, then you can see what questions Eli asked his heart and ask yours. And here's my, we figured since the child and all of us wrote this book, Karen, that this is me when I was seven years old. And here's my illustrator, Michael Bayou. Our child wrote this book. And we love it. Thank you for giving us a chance to share our story with you and from our heart to yours. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Uh, everyone needs to have their own Eli Bear. And you already mentioned that um, if they go over to your site, EliBearStories.com. And what is the forward slash on that? And I will put it right in here so that they forward can. Forward slash my heart, my heart's questions. Let me make sure. My heart's questions. All right, I'm going to, I'm typing as, as I talk to you. So, um, my heart's questions. Questions. All right, so I'm going to put this up now. I got to get rid of all those WWWs there and make it so it can be seen. <laughs> awesome. So, we're letting people know where they can go and, and find you. But before we actually do that, you know, yeah. a lot of people, I, I want to make sure they know where they can go buy the book. And also, more, more, more importantly, we have a free download. So let me let me bring him up over here. This is the book, and as you know, it's called uh, The Bear Essentials. And there's a link that just popped up in the comments. Go ahead and click on that. It will take you right over to the store to purchase your copy because this is a great story for a bedtime story. I mean, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we have a free activity download Hal has given us. So I'm going to encourage you to go. And again, that link is just populated in the comments. Go on over there and grab your free activity download. And when I say it's free, I really mean it's free. It doesn't cost anything at all. And while you're there, sign up for the Kids Corner because we have all these really cool things going on so that the fun keeps going long after the story has ended. Mm. We're going to tell people how to get in touch with you. We did say they can go over to your uh, your website, uh, EliBearStories.com forward slash my heart questions. You see it had to get makes it a little bit smaller. They can find you on Facebook at Eli Benjamin Bear. And if they happen to be Instagrammers, they can go over to Instagram and they can find you there as well, Eli Benjamin Bear. If they are Twitterers, say that three times fast, Eli Benjamin Bear. If they are playing on Pinterest, one of my favorite places to play they can find you at my heroic heart and you have two youtube channels yes. so first of all they can go check out eli benjamin bear just search for it and that youtube channel will, will come up and then finally they can also put into the search hal price heroic heart and they will find your other youtube channel as i like to say to all my friends that come and join me you are everywhere my friend everywhere we didn't even put all of them up but you are everywhere. I want people to make sure that they can go find you and connect with you and go to your website. So when they go to the website, they're going to find all sorts of really cool things. I've actually seen your website. Uh, your, your bears live there. Your books live there. Your activity things. And then you have a club they can join. Yeah, we do. And we also have a, a place for videos for children who lose their bears. And there are great little stories about how their bears are found. And with great love, people find their bears and find the owners of the bears and bring them back to them. They're great little stories. I love that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hal, I want to thank you for blessing us today with your beautiful story and coming on to the show on Once Upon a Story Time. We are very appreciative. And we're appreciative to everyone that is here, whether it's live or on replay, because you have a choice and you chose it to spend it with us. So we thank you. And say goodbye to Eli Bear. I think I need to have my bear too. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Keep reading, keep loving, keep hugging. Absolutely. Keep talking to your children about things that are important. They need to Absolutely. Know See you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Peace.